way to Salerno on the coast and then to Rome arrive in Pompeii time for coffee I'm gonna explore I guess The ancient and destroyed city of Pompeii, right here. Here we see an ancient avenue throughout the city. And we can see that it indeed was a huge city. Now, I do not have a history channel. If you want to know more about Pompeii, please look up separate documentaries. Because I'm not well versed in the topic, and there are just better ones out there. I would rather focus on my travel materials. What I can share is my current impressions of Pompeii, which is it's really quiet, as you can see. It is a city, but in this city, it's relatively, as you can see, peaceful. I guess in the normal year, it would be packed with tourists, but right now the numbers are really affected. That's why I decided to visit in 2021 and walk through these streets being undisturbed, which is practically invaluable because it's now or never I guess once tourism picks up again you're stuck in the crowds and Pompeii is not truly with the same vibe to me places give the most impression give the deepest like share their deepest insights let's say when it's quiet around you and when you can merge yourself with the surrounding area that's when you get the deepest impressions that last the longest. I've had the same in all my travels. I always pick quiet times and places, for example in Auschwitz or basically anywhere I go. Egypt, the, the large temple complexes, I don't go when there's a horse of crowds, not out of arrogance, but because I want the place to speak to me. Just looking at the street and I'm all here alone. Look at this. Isn't it absolutely magical? And just the fact that there are still excavations being done in the city. This is hardly all of it. In December 2020, a shop with ready to eat food was unearthed from the park. In addition to brightly colored frescoes depicting some of the food on offer, archaeologists found eight terracotta containers with 2,000 year old meals, including duck, goat, pig, fish and snails. They also found a decorated bronze drinking bowl known as a patera, wine flasks and ceramic jars used for cooking stews and soups. One fresco depicts a dog with a collar on a leash, possibly a reminder for customers to leash their pets. So this was truly a city where normal people went about their business. But then thousands of years ago, we're just the same people as we are. And many of them died in the ashes, in excruciating fear in the streets in these buildings where we now walk with our iPhones. It's just so strange to me. And who knows what's under these big stones? Nobody literally knows. Just an incredible place. Can you imagine having this to your own? Right now, there's nobody. You can truly pick out sections just like I did in Egypt. 
you have a two year on. It's just unbelievable. I'm very impressed by Bombay. Wow. We're right here at the central square, which is the Forum of Pompeii. The ancient city square, which is in modern day Italy, a piazza. But obviously, the fora were the most important part of a city in the Roman Empire. It's where everything happened from events, cultural gatherings, political gatherings, the central part of the city. See that much of it had been destroyed and has been renovated as well. And actual excavations are ongoing, which is the interesting part that Pompeii is hardly excavated. Like it has, but who knows what's under this? And they apply very conservative methods in not unlayering too much of the city. Because if you take away one part, you also remove a bit of history to get to another part. So it's from one layer to the other. That's the interesting part. Here you can see it quite well.